Hi guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to see how we can install Office Pro Plus to our local machine. Okay. So in order for me to do that, what I have done, I have already deployed a VM on Azure, and now I'm going to log into my account. So in order for me to log in, I have to go to this uh, URL, portal.office.com, or you can type ps.outlook.com. Both of these are going to take you to office.com website. Okay. Or you can type office.com as well. All the three options are available. So once you type in this URL, you will be taken to sign in. Over here, you have to enter your organization account. I'm using a free trial. I've already made on a video on how you can get a free trial, so you can check that out. So I am logging into my account. Let's see if I remember the password or not. Okay. I'm going to save the password and yes. So it is going to log me into my account. So there are various ways you can install Office Pro Plus. Either you can click on Install Office and you can click on Office 365 apps. Okay. Includes Outlook, OneDrive for Business, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. Other installation options, select a different language to install and uh, other apps available with your subscription. Okay, so you have two options available over here. If you go with this option, you'll be taken to this uh, page, and Office Pro Plus is going to start uh, downloading for you. Okay, so you can see software has been downloaded for me. If I click on it, and if I click on run, and if I click on yes, it is going to uh, slowly download all the Office products for me. So as of now, if I search over here, I don't have any Word or PowerPoint that is installed on my system. But as soon as this deployment is started, all of these applications will be installed for me automatically. So I get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, Teams, Planner, Access and Sky for Business. So all of these applications I'll get with this Pro Plus license. So in order for me to see the license, if I go to some other tab, and go to office.com and if I go over here on my account click on my account I can get the details of what all licenses have been assigned to me either you have to be a global admin uh, then you can check the details of your uh, license assigned to the user otherwise if you're using your account you can check it over here so if I go to my accounts and if I go to subscriptions on the left hand side, you can see uh, Office 365 E3 is assigned to me and all of these apps are available for me to work with. Okay. And if I go to apps and devices, okay, it's taking some time to load. Let me refresh the browser again. Okay, if I go to apps and devices, it will show me all the places where my uh, Office product is installed. Okay, so I'm already using this Office Pro Plus on this device. Uh, if I want, I can directly sign out of that device. I can also install Sky for Business on this device, or I can again install all the Office Pro Plus products from here as well. So these are some of the options available to you. What all permissions you have for different application? You can see your security, privacy, your subscription details. All of your personal info if you want to edit it you can do that over here so you can see all of these options available in your account and once this is done we'll be able to see all the apps available on my, my system okay so if I go over here if I start typing PowerPoint it's still not available word it's still not available so after a few minutes you'll be able to see all the application available to you okay Also, in order for you to see all the application, what you can do, you can also go to your Office 365 Global Admin. So this is my Global Admin account. If I go to Admin Center, and in the Admin Center, if I go to Users and Active Users, I can see what all license has been assigned to User One. So if I go to Licensing and Apps, I can see E3 license has been assigned to to this user, and this user has access to all of these applications with the E3 license okay 
currently I'm using a trial version. If you want to see all of these same settings, you can also get a trial version for yourself. Okay, this will be done in a moment. As you can see, all of these apps have started populating over here. So if I go to Word, so this is Microsoft Word that is installed for us. If I click on New Blank Document, and as you can see, you get a sign in option. So in Pro Plus, if you uh, have to accept the licensing agreement, and if I click on Sign In, I have to enter my Office 365 credentials over here. So if I type user1, user1 at the rate ki prop dot on microsoft dot com and then my password. So with perpetual licensing you had to enter licensing key but with Office 365 Pro Plus once you enter your username and password to the account that to which a license has been assigned you will be able to access all the office uh, 365 pro plus apps over here okay so if i type credentials so as you can see i'm logged into my pro office 365 pro plus account so it will also show you a video how you can access all the application i'm just going to uh, close this for now and if I open any other application now for example if I open PowerPoint it is automatically going to sign me in with this account okay so I don't need to enter the licensing key again and again so this is a very good benefit of using a uh, pro plus so once you are logged in to your account in any of the app you are logged into all the office 365 pro plus apps so if you expand over here you get all of these apps publisher access sky for business excel uh, PowerPoint Word OneDrive so all of these are part of Office 365 E3 plan okay so this is all that I needed to cover in this video I'll see you in the next video